They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You're royal, you're rebel, you're more than And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. Well, then why don't you try to find a real-life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect! Wait. Where am I going to find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter. You two are dating. What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic. Um, heart-shaped cupcakes. Really, guys, come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials? Inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh. Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What are you gonna do? How am I going on? Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and a hunter That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. I'm just so obvious. I mean, come on. Excuse me, Professor Piper? Can you show us that melody again? Of course, my dear. Kitty, you know what happens when... <laughs> oh, rats, I forgot. Raven Queen, please report to Baba Yaga's office. Me? Yes, you. Uh, Madam Yaga, is everything... Okay. Raven, take a seat. As a faculty advisor, it's my job to meet with the, um... Troubled students. What? I'm not troubled. We're here to get you back on the right path. <laughs> the wrong path. I'll let your friends explain. Raven, I adore you. But, like, the other day, you spilled that everlasting black ink all over my new ball gown. That was an accident. I felt really bad and said I was sorry, like, a hundred times. You're not supposed to apologize. You're evil. Oh, but what if I don't want to... Raven, you're here to listen. Briar, would you like to go next? Everyone, I set up a bungee jumping platform on the east turret. Briar, hocus focus. Maddie. I think Raven is wicked awesome just the way she is. And you didn't tell me we were here to be hassle her. You said we were going to have a tea party. Yes. I lied. We haven't heard from Lizzie Hartz. Off with her head! Everyone stop! Now that's what we're looking for from an evil queen. I think we made real progress here. But uh, how do I change back? I don't want to be a chicken man! <laughs> You had correctly, Raven Queen. Uh, Professor Rumpelstiltskin, this is totally unfair. You can't test us on chapters 1 through 34. We've only studied up to chapter 2. I cannot tell a lie, and, well, that that's just not very nice. <laughs> you guys don't know about Professor Rumpelstiltskin? At the beginning of each year, he gives an insanely hard test. His students have to ask for extra credit, which is just spinning straw into gold for him. The test is tomorrow morning. Look, I'm totally getting stress splinters. Well, I could tutor you guys. I've been studying on my own, like, forever after. Royally cool. Hmm, let's start with the basic elements. If we can't wake up Briar, we're totally gonna fail the test. 
Man, if only she took studying as seriously as partying. Oh, that's it! <sighs> oh, hey guys, what's up? You! Finally! But now you have to stay awake and help us. Well, there's one thing I'm always up for. A study party! Yes! yes! The basic elements. There's pixie dust and dragon fire. Pixie, pixie dust, dust and, and dragon, dragon fire. <laughs> Time is up. Let's see how you failed. Raven Queen. An A. Apple White. An A. Cedar Wood. A. Hunter Osman. Never a. underestimate a. the power Hunter of a study a. party. A. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter page. I can't share the cute shoes I found online. I can't tell everyone about the excellent new band playing at the Red Shoes Dance Club tonight. Or you could do those things by talking to each other. Except that Professor Rumpelstiltskin's online only test is due by sunset today. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's panic. <laughs> it looks like someone's hogging all the bandwidth. We need to find out who. Humphrey, you stay here and sort out these cables while we search the school. Sure. Leave it to Humphrey Dumpty to put it all back together again. 933, 934... Daring, are you using the mirror net? I sure am. I'm uploading a couple thousand high-res pics from my new photo shoot. Oh, that was rude. Melody, are you downloading any large files from the mirror net? Just every recorded remix of... Hey! slow as a troll. And we only have another two hours to take our online test. There's only one thing to do. Go to the heart of the mirror net. Now we're going to find out what's been actually... Oh. Professor Rumpelstiltskin! You're the one who's been slowing down the mirror net? But, but why? Let me guess. So you could fail us, give us detention... And make you spin my straw into gold! That's not gonna happen now that we know your little secret. A tale I'm guessing the headmaster would love to be told. <gasps> what do you say you cancel the test and give us a little more time to study? Oh, yeah, fine! And I think it's only fairest that he fixes what he broke. Ow! Oh! Ah! Yeah! Oh, don't go to pieces on us, Professor. Ow! 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 Everyone at school is buzzing about the Royal Student Council elections, but there's only one choice for president. She's running unopposed again. Apple White. Blondie, just because I don't have an opponent doesn't mean I'm not going to work my crown off. I'll use my debate time to outline my plan for royal dances, royal fundraisers, royal canned food drives, royal blah and royal blah and royal na na na. Wouldn't it be great if someone else... I'll do it. I will run against Apple for president. Uh, what now? Vote for Maddie! Vote for me! Ah! Hats over crowns, vote for Maddie. Oh, uh, hey, Raven. Uh, Dexter, hey. vote for me! Ow! I mean, ow, boy, thanks so much for that pin. Uh. So here we go, fellow fairy tales, the Ever After High Royal Student Council debate. First question goes to Apple White. Why would anyone not vote for you? Let me just say, I will preside over this school like I will my future kingdom. Perfectly. And Maddie, my question for you is, why would you run against Apple? Are you... <laughs> mad? Why, yes, and thank you for noticing. If the squirrel eats acorns but never a steak, how much water fills up the lake? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard us. Apple's been president long enough. Maddie is mad. I have a terrific idea. It'd just be oh so swell the council could have the castle doors widen for the not so tiny of us. I think we can make that happen, but I need to check with my co-president. For the cave of the bear is open so wide. Would you really change the pull of the tide? <laughs> what she said. Ew! The lake! 
lake is covered in slime. Where is this coming from? Time to go black swan on this place. Enchanting deals at the marsh pit. Marsh meat like Mom used to make. <laughs> Excuse me, but what is this? This? Why, it's the most hectacular marsh-only restaurant in the village. Well, you're draining your waste into my lake. Waste? Well, that's the price of doing business, little swan. Raven, something terrible has happened, and I need you to cast one of your evil Duchess. spells. You want me to help you after you made that unicorn poke us all in beast training and care class? Sparkles doesn't poke that hard. So, Dex, <laughs> I really need your help. After you two threw my glasses into a seeing double potion? Whatever after. That was funny. Duchess. The lake is in trouble. Oh, I'll get Hunter. Great, because at first I was like, why would he even ask Ashley? <laughs> Come here. That's the last acorn you'll ever throw. Recording. After the video of the unsanitary conditions within the marsh pit kitchen surfaced, bookend health officials discovered the Marsh King was illegally dumping his grease in the nearby enchanted lake. And who do we have to thank for all this? It was me. I saved the lake all by myself. Duchess Swan! Remember that name, people! Seriously? Seriously? Like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different.